years ago, the world set sail on a boat that was exciting and new. The Love Boat premiered May 5th, 1977, one of the most popular shows on TV for a decade. Joining us now live to talk about the popularity of the show and the real impact it had on everybody, uh, Gavin McLeod, who played Captain Steubing, and Jill Whalen, who co-starred as his daughter, Vicki. Thank you so much for taking the time today, both of you. Hi, Thank Jason. you, Jason. Uh, you know, it's like time stood still. You haven't aged. How is it possible that I have like gray hair and you look you're, you're, you're stuck in time like it's back in 1977 to 84? Take a look. <laughs> <laughs> uh, why do you well, think this Botox and hair color? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think this, uh, this show, which actually, if I remember correctly, started as a TV movie and the response was so big that, that, that it became a show, why do you think it was such a cultural touchstone at that time? Because uh, it was a happy ending show. It gave people a chance to experience something they never thought existed. You know, cruising was just for the affluent before we went on the air, and we brought it down so everyone can realize how much fun cruising was and that it can change lives. You can have experiences that turn into memories and enhance your life. And then they realized by watching our show, they would see all these enormous movie stars and sports figures and stuff besides the regulars, and they had a great time. We always had happy endings. And that was a, a very important thing. And I remember our show gave people something to dream about. And uh, not many th shows do that. And that's why it's as popular today. I don't know about your fan mail, but I'm getting yeah. stuff from China. Uh, more popular today than it was way back then, 40 years ago when we started. I think wow. we're still in 93 countries. I think. We were in 90 countries. I, mean, I, so think, I think it's like we're probably 93. 93 now. Yeah. Yeah, China is one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are your best memories uh, from doing the show? Obviously, you were there from the get-go, Gavin. Uh, Jill, you joined later on. What, uh, anything stand out to you among all the thousand or so guest celebrities that, who uh, sailed with you? Oh, so many memories, so yeah. many. Go ahead, you can start with yours, you're younger. <laughs> but uh, my, go, my memories go way, way back, and uh, I don't know, you know. <laughs> I did Perry Mason's when I was starting my career on the West Coast and uh, then the other shows that Raymond Burr was doing and when Raymond Burr became a guest star on our show it felt like terrific thing for me. I was uh, uh, on McHale's Navy, I have one line a week and Ernie Borgnine came and he was a guest on my show. Shelley Winters, I had one line on my first Broadway play with her. She came in and she was a guest star on my show. So it was turning things around and that was very gratifying to me. And, uh, just happy moments, you know. But and then the thing that really excited me is the fact that when the show was over, uh, Princess started to expand, and they asked me if I would be their representative and talk for them. So we started commercials, and uh, on both, we, we won for the best cruise commercial, the best travel show, and we were doing such so many wonderful things. So now we have 18 mega ships, and we have, uh, what, 350 ports of call. It's just incredible what's happened because of that show. And it brought a lot of happiness to people. And I think cruising, I just got off a ship with my wife and my manager, and uh, we had two weeks in Hawaii, and people were lined up in an area where they're booking for previous cru uh, ne cru eventual future cruises. cruises, future cruises, thanks. And once you, once you experience a cruise, especially a princess cruise because the food is so great. And the, I asked the lady something. I said, she said, I've been on every cruise line and I always come back to princess. I said, well, why do you do that? She says, because the people working on this ships are the nicest. It's, I, I thought I'd just share true. that, huh? I, I think that's true too. I've always found that. You but did? I actually just brought my family back from the Mediterranean and I got to show, it was so special because I got to show mm -hmm. my kids what I was learning about. When we were doing the Love Boat, yeah. I was studying, my studies coincided with where we were traveling. So when I was learning about the Great Wall of China and reading about it, I was actually sitting on oh, the wall. Oh boy. And so this particular cruise, I got to take them to all the places that I got to go when I was their age. And That's it was, great, Jill. It was, my older son is in a fraternity and when we got to Ephesus and when we got to Greece, he saw all of the Greek writing which reminded him of his fraternity and he actually, brought, it brought him to tears 
So to see that in a very jaded 21-year-old well, was a big deal. to share that with your, with your children yeah. is just It wonderful. was amazing. So well, it was a celebration. It really was. Well, I want to say thank you so much to you both for taking the time to share your memories with us. It's been a real delight. Uh, we are out of satellite time, so we've got to run. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thanks Jason, Jason, so much.